In this particular morning's meditation, I want to respond to another social media post that I wrote. Um, I wrote, um, people have missed in their assessment of you. They are weighing your right now far too heavily while taking your about to be too lightly. They have pegged you as a victim of your own circumstances instead of an overcomer of your own circumstances. What they don't know is that the greatest part of your story still resides in the unseen realm. What others think of your chances for success isn't nearly as important as what you think of your own prospects of success. Never underestimate the greatness in your own mirror that stares back at you daily. There's a champion within you. Draw that out daily. Aim for the stars. Your best is yet to be. Um, if I were to use a particular morning meditation uh, title for this particular uh, morning med meditation, uh, I would say, um, gosh, the mistake of judging my now, or stop judging my now. Stop judging my now. Uh, this particular morning meditation is about those that look at your current circumstances and use that as a as a gauge to see, uh, a gauge to assess where you will go in life. Some have written you off already because they see the tatter that's going on in your life right now. And, you know, they don't see what you're about to become. It does not yet appear what you shall be. Uh, I mean, uh, the scriptures declare, there's a passage of scripture that it says, who has despised the day of small things? You have to start somewhere, even if it's picking up the pieces of your life, taking what has been ashes and trusting that God will turn it into beauty. So you're not going to look like you're going to look uh, at all times. God is at work in you. You're not appearing like what you shall become. And many people will judge you now. The, the thing that you can't do is to submit to what they're thinking of your now. You know what God has promised, and God has given you many exceeding great and precious promises. You have to trust God in the midst of the process while he's working all things together for your good, or while he's turning those things which the devil intended for your evil, and he's returning, flipping them over, and turning them around for your good. Let them judge you now, but God is at work on you. I've went by many uh, construction sites, and I saw them, I've just seen uh, a, a, a placard, saw them, I see a billboard, and they put under construction. And instantly, uh, you know, no one's worried about how bad that site looks because they know what will, uh, uh, what's coming their way. And, and I see in the prophetic ethos right now, I've always wanted to say that, preach Steve, uh, in the prophetic ethos that God has put a under construction sign uh, on your person that it is not yet appear what you shall become. They're busy judging your now while God is working behind the scenes, mending and patching what the devil has intended for your evil, and he's going to turn it around for your good. It does not yet appear. They make the mistake of judging your now. The scriptures declare the stone that the builders rejected has become the chief stone of the corner. Maybe they're taking you too lightly. They're underestimating you. They're they're seeing your now. You don't yet appear. People are laughing at me making this particular clip right now, but they're going to look up and I'm going to be syndicated. They're going to look up and I'm going to be on the Word Network. And all the folks that didn't uh, re, uh, re invite me to local TBN will never get me. Because I'm not going to let what you, uh, uh, what, what, what people perceive of my now stop me from what God has promised uh, about my much greater later. I'm not the only one that has a much greater later. My brother and sister, child of God, God has a much greater later for you. Let them talk about your now, but God is moving you into your much greater later. Let them keep judging you now. You just hold on to the promises of God. God's word will never return unto him void. Let them spend their time chuckling about your, la uh, chuckling about your present situation and laughing and snickering at it. But God has already put 
the last laugh in storage for you. God has your day in storage. Hold on to your claim ticket. God's going to bring you out in a tremendous way. And the people that won't once laughed will be put to shame. Uh, fret not thyself because of evildoers, for they shall soon be cut down. Your day is coming. Don't weary in well-doing. Your day to reap is coming soon. So don't worry when they judge you now. Hold on to your much greater later. God bless you. This is my morning meditation.